G'day. Today I want to talk about fear and bravery and courage. Um, sometimes I feel like courage is kind of bastardized in the media and in, and in, and in how we deal with it and how we describe it or how we attribute it to somebody. You know, that somebody who is a sportsman who tries really hard and, and you know, does something superhuman supposedly in the sporting arena, they're displaying great courage, a brave, a brave innings or a, you know, whatever. And I, and I just don't, I don't know if that's true. You know, I, I feel like a hundred years ago, bravery was a 17 year old boy going to Europe from Australia to defend the queen with a rifle and knowing he was probably going to be killed. That's bravery to me. But aside from that, I think Sometimes the absence of that bravery in us, the, the, sometimes we feel like we can't do those things and it, and it ends up being a feeling that sits in us that is fear instead of just an acceptance that we can't do everything that we want to do. And I think more and more that, that chasing of what is brave, what is courage, you know, sometimes can just reiterate to us how fearful we are of something. And I don't think that necessarily uh, courage or bravery is the opposite of fear. I think, you know, fear comes from a lack of curiosity. And sometimes just being more curious about something, just being more invested to find out the answer to something, or just being more invested in finding out whether we can get on the other side of that fear, that's brave. You know, for someone to show up every day and keep pushing through something that they live with and they be on their control every day, and for some people to, to keep trying to be the very best version of themselves every day requires a lot of courage, requires a lot of seeing that fear, going to meet it, trying to get past it, right? And, and in doing that, often creativity vulnerability, curiosity is the vehicle in which we can get to the other side of that fear. I really support you today to investigate your curiosity about something. Be creative, be vulnerable because there is no creativity without vulnerability. Put yourself out there, have a crack, you know, see what you can achieve, see what you can make with your own hands. And I don't mean it has to be some beautiful bit of pottery or a painting or tapestry or something like that. I think that creativity is available to us every day, every moment of every day, if we just dial it back or dial it down to what we consider ourselves, consider for ourselves to be a creative exercise. For instance, doing the dishes for me, <laughs> I, I take great pride in that and it's a creative exercise for me. Making my bed every morning is a creative exercise for me. That creativity doesn't have to be on a massive scale. It doesn't have to be something that everybody else loves. It just has to be you investigating your curiosity, getting closer to your fear, which means you're getting closer to being the best version of yourself. I really support you today to just try something new, to put yourself into a situation where you have to be creative and see what happens. Because the absence of fear is a great feeling where you can be more creative, where you can be more yourself, where you can be more close to the very, very best version of yourself. Get out there today, create something. Get close to that fear. Be the best version of yourself. See ya.